when we're nearly 85 degrees and we drop down into the 60s for highs, it's going to feel chilly. There's the front. It's moving down through Daytona, stretching across Tampa, Clearwater at this point in time. Ahead of it, some showers and a few storms. And we do have that threat, so take a look. Here's future track. By the time we get to 9, 10 o'clock tonight, we've got a few showers, maybe a few storms knocking on the doorstep here. Uh, the Treasure Coast, this pushes through the overnight hours. We get to 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. The Palm Beaches have that threat of a few isolated showers and storms. Nothing severe, just a few rumbles of thunder possible. And that front clears the state as early as noon tomorrow. And look, a very defined line here between cloud cover and sunshine. High pressure's kicking in quickly as soon as this front passes through the Florida Straits. So by the time we get to noon, the Treasure Coast is already starting to see some sunshine while the Palm Beaches still have a little cloud cover. We will see a little sunshine tomorrow, but I think mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies will stick around, which is why our temperatures will only be into the 70s tomorrow. Plus, of course, that front passed and we have now a northerly wind. So our temperatures tomorrow morning will be into the 50s on the Treasure Coast, down into the 60s on the Palm Beaches. Inland, 40s for some of the rural areas, otherwise low 50s. But watch this. We get to tomorrow afternoon. We're ramping back up into the upper 60s, low 70s. And Tuesday morning, it's a big drastic change. We'll be in the 40s and 50s along the coastline inland, some in the upper 30s. So it's going to be cold as we wake up Tuesday and Wednesday morning. As for highs, 72 tomorrow. Some may not even make it into the 70s. By the time we get to Tuesday and Wednesday, we're at 66 degrees. That's it. Typically, we should be right around 75. We rebound quickly, though, by Thursday. We're back up to normal at 74. So tonight, 63, a south wind at 5 to 10, isolated showers and storms on the Treasure Coast, making their way onto the Palm Beaches early tomorrow morning. Got a light breeze tomorrow out of the north at 10 to 15, mostly cloudy. Again, a few showers and storms earlier on, and that's why our temperatures are only topping out at 72 now that the front has moved through. Tuesday and Wednesday, your South Florida certified most accurate, 66 both days. Overnight lows in the 40s, others inland in the 30s. Again, we rebound quickly. Late week, we're back up into the upper 70s, low 80s, as we bring in better chances for rain, thanks to the strong gusty winds pulling in that moisture right off the ocean.